Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. Agatha, does something trouble you? Perhaps I can return the favor. And now you're the one reading my mind. You used to read my mind? It's an expression, my dear. Hmm. I choose to believe you. So, what do you need? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. Agatha... I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... useless. Ugh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. Good night. Agatha. Hunter, I'm coming in. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. I am surprised you can hear Agatha. Then you don't deny it? Why would I? Especially to you. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why didn't you tell Caretaker? I made a promise not to tell. To who? Agatha. Then why now? Because, if you can hear Agatha, the two of you need to have a long talk. I don't know if I could face her. Then let me talk to her. <sighs> All right. I'm trusting you, Hunter. Good night. that time we fought together in Madripoor? Was that the time we fought the 20-foot-tall robot? You're gonna have to be more specific. I've... Poor Wanda. To experience so much loss, so quickly. You feel for Wanda? Of course I do. It's basic human empathy, especially after everything she's been through. It is certainly a lot to process all at once. She'll need support now, more than ever. I mentioned before that the X-Men have always had a home, but I wasn't being entirely truthful. How so? Professor Xavier's school was displaced many times. We've always been able to put down roots, but the interim was full of uncertainty. You have been able to walk away with a place to live, despite the odds. I thank Gaia for it every day. I think Wanda would like some solace if it came from you. But do not mention your home. Don't worry, Hunter. I know how to be respectful. I'll give Wanda her space for now. But I hope to be able to give her some comfort. I still can't believe it. What don't you believe, Robbie? that our plan failed. We can. 
I dropped 10 cubic tons of rubble on Lilith's head, and she still managed to reform the Darkhold. She has a hard head. Magic is right. What's done is done. No use in dwelling on our mistakes. Best to look forward. Think you can do that, Robbie? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. We will find another way to stop her. I promise. MJ, can you please drive by May's house and make sure she's okay? If she turned on the news, she's probably scared. Finally getting some decent tech down here. What have you brought me today? Now this is magic. If it were up to Tony, you'd probably be stuffing that item into some machine right about now. Very impersonal. How's it going, boss? Starting foil extraction process. These should definitely give you an edge.
Sometimes, I even impress myself. Big Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. Tony is working. Until next time. The entire abbey is humming about the Hulk, but I'm sure if Banner were here, he'd be lamenting the Hulk's appearance with us. Doctor, you do know that Banner is the Hulk? Oh, that's where you're wrong. Banner and the Hulk share a body, but they are different personalities. And I understand Banner isn't incredibly fond of his greener half. That conflict is tearing Banner apart. He must learn to make peace with himself. That is easier said than done. For men like Banner, the road to inner harmony is paved with bloodshed. It does not have to be. It does if you hate yourself. That is very dark. Doctor, are you feeling okay? Yes. I think someday I will be. Our enemies shrink in fear when they see you. That is good. I am not used to people treating me with such kindness. I know you're upset too. Everyone's in the same boat. I still say, let's do this. Just give me a target. A powerful improvement. I think we've got something for everyone. Haha, <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me now. Can't wait to try this out.
improved spell. Nice. See you around. you to be making a fuss, so come up with an excuse as to why you're there. Maybe bring her some cookies. She loves oatmeal raisin. Oh, and she probably won't be going out to get her paper, so can you collect the Daily Bugles and bring them in? Maybe check to see if they're running any Spider-Man headlines and ditch those. I can't say when I'm coming back. Hopefully soon? Yes, I'm in a safe place with good people. You can tell that to May, too. MJ, I'm gonna be fine. Promise. Are you hearing this? It's adorable. Great news, Parker. Got my hands on an authentic KGB report from the Cold War about a raid on a Simkarian medical lab. Wait, why are you so excited? Because the lab was built on the order of, you guessed it, Dracula. The report details creepy medical experiments, which were, drum roll please, his earliest attempts to create new breed vampires. Wow. I didn't know you read Russian. I don't. Oh, all right, the report is an authentic translation. But still, it's, it's huge. So, it's a translated document from the Cold War? No, it's... Digital scans of a recent translation. Can you just let me have this for once? Sorry, Eddie. Let's look at the report together. We'll see what else we can learn. Yeah? You're the reporter, and this is your story. I'll follow your lead. I apologize for not having the bandwidth to speak last night. It's just... I'm still in a bit of shock. My mind has been spinning trying to process it all. You do not need to apologize to me, or anyone else. Yes, yes, I know you're right. There's no excuse. I must pull myself together. At any moment, my sister will unleash Cathan upon the planet. Yet Wanda is back in the library, reading as if we were back to normal, before... Agatha passed. Half of me wishes she was here, so I could ask her for guidance. For a way out of this mess. And the other half? ...is glad she's not alive to endure the horrors of what a Cathan reign would bring. Still, I wonder what she would say if she was here. Have you considered Agatha is here, watching over us? Huh. That's a sweet thought, Hunter. But not a very realistic one. I know this abbey is haunted, but I would know if Agatha was still one of its specters. No. She is beyond the black, hopefully in a serene and beautiful dimension far, 
far from the calamities of this one. Ah, I need to get my head together. Now that the Temple of Cathan is revealed, our options are dwindling. Show no mercy. Well, we can do that. I'm ready when you are. Everything's cool so far. They just let me let me know how. They won't know what hit me. This should be Don't mind if I do. I'm saving my energy to the moment. Good one! Here we go again!
hope this helps. Oh, invigorating. Done it. Excellent work. Hunter, why is Wanda calling out to me from my shrine? Last night, she overheard us speaking. She did? She confronted me and demanded to know where you were. What did you tell her? I could not lie to her. Not about this. I'm glad you didn't. If Wanda overheard me, the rules have changed. I think she deserves an answer, don't you? Then we should speak with her. I'll meet you at my shrine. Ugh, reptilian blood tastes terrible. Can you hear me, Fury? Hunter, you promised me the truth about Agatha. I should let her tell it. Agatha is here? Right now? I'm right here, Wanda. Can you not see me? Agatha? Where are you? Just my voice, then. Better than nothing. 
Agatha, I... Oh, there's so much I have to say to you. Wanda, please. You are my pupil. I shall not have you bear the burden of my death. I lost control. No, I did. I pushed you too far, too fast. Yes, but I have to... My dear, this isn't the first time you visited my grave. I heard all you confessed. There is no need to repeat it. And there is very little time. Cathan grows restless in his slumber. I can aid you in this fight, but I'll need your help. Both of you. My connection to this world is tenuous. There is a ritual that can bind me to this place. First, I'll need you to retrieve a... memento. What exactly do you want us to bring you? Sarah's grief is my strongest tie to the world. This memento symbolizes our tie to one another. What is it? I don't know, but it's somewhere in her room. The closer I get, the more painful it is. A ghost can feel pain? I'm not thrilled about it. I am unfamiliar with any ritual you describe. It was in one of the books I wouldn't allow you to read. I read many of those books. Yes, you were a precocious child. Those books were decoys. I knew it. I'm sure you did. How should we go about this? Hunter. You know Sarah better than most. I'm relying on you to search her room and find this memento. Whatever it is. And what should I do? Observation and distraction. So I'm the lookout while the hunter pokes around caretaker's room? I do it myself, but... Oh, it's no problem. One of my favorite shows involves a weekly heist. Now, both of you promise me Sarah cannot know about the ritual. Not until it's done. Why not? The more she knows, the less chance we have to pull it off. I have kept your secret this long. And I can keep it as well. Good. I believe in you both. You can count on us. Wanda, she already left. Oh. Well, time to sneak into Caretaker's room and steal one of her heirlooms. Let's go before I talk myself out of it. You and me both. Right behind you. Hunter, I'm outside the door. As soon as you find it, I'll give you the all clear. Wanda? Uh, hi, Nico. What are you doing outside Caretaker's room? Nothing. And I'm not outside her room. You're leaning against the door. Oh, I guess I am. But I'm waiting on the hunter. Oh, for what? I'm going to confess my feelings. What? It's true. I have strong feelings for the Hunter. Did I just stumble into the hottest Abbey gossip since Blade and Captain Marvel? They're together? It's complicated, but never mind that. You and the Hunter, though? I'm a little jealous, but good luck, girl. Oh, I didn't mean to. Nah, I'm totally out of Hunter's League. But you? I can totally see it. Uh, Nico, do you mind if I wait alone? Oh, right, right. Good luck. All right, she's gone. Hurry up. This is harder than it looks on television. How's it going in there? Found it. All right. Wanda? Is... Caretaker. Hi. How are you, uh, doing? I'm tired. It's been a long day. Oh... 
I know the feeling. We should, um, take a walk around the Abbey. Why would we do that? It's good to, you know, get the blood flowing after a long day. So how about we... Wanda, it's late. I'm going to bed. I want to talk to you about Agatha. You do? I... Can we take that walk? It's about something she said to me about you. Wanda, this topic is out of bounds. I'm not asking to be forgiven. I know I'll never make it right. But I have a wonderful memory of Agatha speaking fondly of you. It's not fair to keep it from you. So, could we take that walk, please? Uh, all right. A short walk. A short walk. You'll be back in uh, a few minutes, at most. <clears throat> Let's go. I'd like to get this over with. That's uh, perfectly clear. Are you all right? Just a small cough. <laughs> Why don't we head through the yard? Hunter. Ileana? What were you doing in Caretaker's room? I was never here, and you never saw me. I can respect that. Are you out? Mm-hmm. Good. You know where to meet me. Do that again. Digging through her things, that did not feel good. If the ritual works, caretaker may be able to hear Agatha again. How does that feel? Better. For me too. So what next? I'll take the... what was it? A locket. Hmm. I assume Agatha will tell us how it fits into the ritual. And that I shall. Agatha, we have Caretaker's memento. I know. I can feel it. Would you be a most faithful apprentice and place a ward upon it? Of course. That's better. Now, do you recall the binding ritual in the Libris Inlicitus? The Grey Seneschal? But that's... Forbidden, yes. I was going to say extremely dangerous. And I would never suggest it unless the circumstances were this dire. What is this ritual exactly? The Grey Seneschal requires an item that binds the spirit to a person or place. Why is it so dangerous? Because the first step of the ritual is to destroy that item. And for a short time, the spirit is extremely vulnerable to dissolution, to possession, to destruction. I am not entirely comfortable with this, but if you are taking the risk, I will support you. I am so proud to know the person you've become, Hunter. Trust me when I say the risk is worth it. Should the ritual work as expected, everyone in the Abbey will be able to hear me, to see me. I'll be able to help when it's most needed. We do this when the moon is right. But it all falls apart if Sarah learns what we're planning. Why? This ritual is one of hers. She made it centuries ago. She knows how great the risks and how slim the odds. And there's no chance in hell she'll allow Wanda to lead the ritual. Yet for us to succeed, Wanda it must be. No, I can't do this. Wanda. This ritual's power lies in its inherent contradictions. And what greater contradiction can there be than for me to restore your spirit to life? But Agatha, if I lose control... You won't. How do you know? Because you're my best apprentice. Because you learn from your mistakes. And because I want you to know I truly forgive you. 
For that to happen, you'll need to see it in my eyes. <sighs> All right. Now to prepare. Wanda, I'll be in your room. We'll go over every step of the ritual. I'll meet you there. She already... I know. Hunter, do you believe I can do this? Compared to Agatha and yourself, I know nothing about ritual magic. That's diplomatic. But Agatha does. If she trusts you to do this, then so should I. <sighs> okay. When the moon is right. When the moon is right. No pressure. Hey, 